What's going on everybody? Marcus Hodges here with ILB Elite Training and today we're going to talk about an elite scoring guard. I believe there's five different principles that you need to have to be an elite scoring guard. Something you don't want to miss, man. You already know. Let's get it. Okay, I got Amari here with me today. He's going to work out with us some what it takes to become an elite scoring guard. The first principle is going to be having a quick pickup. So being a guard, usually you have the ball in your hands a lot. Get into your spot, get into your spot quick, and that has to do with the pickup. So a really good drill to work on having a quick pickup is gonna be here. We're gonna focus on right now going between the legs, cross, and then the next time when I go between the legs, I'm gonna go right into my pickup. So how quickly can you get your feet to the floor and get into your shot? So Omari's gonna get three to four makes going left, three to four makes going right, going between, cross between. Get your feet right under your hips, right into it for your shot. Let's get it. Pop. Get in there, you good? Quick hands right here, quick hands, quick hands, pop, pop, up. Good feet, good. Another one, same way. There we go. Good, another, another, same one, one more, one more. Pop, good, one more, one more, hit it. There we go. Good, same thing left, same thing left hand. Good, one more, one more, one more, hit it. Good, one more. Here it is. So the pickup is one of the most important parts of getting into your shot. Doing the move is great, but how fast you can actually get into your shot is a huge way to become an elite scorer. So the move we're gonna do now is shout out to Tim Hardaway, the Tim Hardaway crossover, between cross. So now I'm gonna have Amari just here, ball in his left hand. He'll go between, making sure his shoulders and frame shift. And now when he crosses the ball over, his outside foot is just gonna follow that ball. Once again, as quick as he can, get your feet to the floor. So he's going here, pop one, two, get your feet on the floor, going straight up and down right into the shot. Let's get about three makes going right, three makes going left, same thing, eh? Pop quick, good, one, two. Here we go, same way, dribble into it now, dribble into it. Here we go, get another, get another, right into it. Feet to the floor quick, feet to the floor. One, two, good. Nice, go the same opposite, same thing. Sell it, good, nice. Good, eh? Another one. Here we go, I'll take that, good. So that first option to become an elite scorer is having a pickup. A drill you guys might also see a lot, which is really important also, is having just your between pickup, between pickup into shot. Our main focus is gonna be just hands and feet. You wanna get your hands and feet working together. I'm gonna to give you a couple reps. I'm gonna give you three reps left, three reps right, being able to go right into my between pickup. Mario, you got me? Yep. All right. Get in there. Every time he's gotta get your hands and feet working together. Here we go, one more. There it is. So that right there, that's your first option. Become an elite scorer, having a quick pickup. Anytime you're able to do any move, right to left cross, in and out crossover. Once you create that separation, you gotta get into your shot, get into your pickup quick. Second point is being deceptive. Being a deceptive player is somebody that's looking like they're gonna do something, but they do something completely different. So age is not gonna be a factor right here. You can be deceptive at the age of two, you can be deceptive at the age of 52, so it really doesn't matter. So right now, it's we're gonna work on just a rocker step, a really good move to get my defender to freeze. So right now, we're gonna focus on rocking my defender to the right, and then I wanna get just a half a rock here. So I wanna rock all the way outside my knee, then we'll get here, then I'm putting that ball down to a one dribble pull up. Once again, I'm here with it, balls away from my hip. I'll rock my defender and then be able to put that ball down as quick as possible. We'll get into our shot. Amari, give me two, two layups and we'll go two shots, all right? Quick, good. Finish, nice, give me another one. Right into it, put into it. Shift them, shift them, shift them, shift them, shift, shift, good. There we go, nice finish. 
Now I want you to rock one dribble pull up. Shift. There we go. Good, A, another. Good shift. Solid. So when you shift, I want to really focus on leaning to your right. Really lean to your right here. This is where the majority of your weight's going to be. And then I want you here. So really, this motion right here freezes me. This motion right here is going to get me. We'll go through it one time. Boom, it puts me in this position here. It freezes me. And that's that advantage you want to be able to go by. So let's go two more jump shot. Put it out there for me. There it is. Yes, sir. Put it down. Beautiful. Another one, eh? Rock him to sleep. Put the baby to bed. There we go. I like it. Just a counter, a counter to that being deceptive also is now when I shift. So remember, I'm shifting right. I'll go left. Then now I really want to throw the ball out there with one hand. So I'm going here and I'm throwing the ball out there just like my rip. But now I'm in this stance where my feet are wide, ball is slightly outside of my knee. I'm going to turn it right into a crossover. Beautiful move to do. Freeze my defender. Then my defender guesses where I'm going. He runs one way. I'm going to pretty much run the opposite way. So I'm going to have Amari come here, put it down. He's going to shift, put it out, and then get into his cross. Making sure his pivot doesn't move until that ball hits the floor. And I want you coming right, left, right into it. Put that ball out there. Put it out. Good. One, two. There we go. Smooth with it right here. Hey, come on. Smooth with it. Shift. Put him out. One, two. Good. Give me another one. Come on. You believe you're going right. Believe it. Believe it. Oh, yeah. I like that one. One more, A. Hey. One more, A. Hey. Shimmy into it. Huh? Yep. Shift, shift. Got him. There it is. That's what they want. That's what they want. So that was just our rocker step right here. Being able to go for the finish. A couple rocker steps for a jump shot. And I gave you guys that counter. Being able to rock. Boom, cross for that shot. So remember, being deceptive. If you want to be that elite scoring guard, you have to be deceptive. You're not always going to be the fastest. You might not be the quickest, but if you can sell your moves, if I can sell like I'm going left and then go right, I'm going to be an elite scoring guard. Third attribute right here to become an elite scoring guard is being able to have a fade, a fade away. So you'll see the Kobe's, the LeBron James, the Kevin Durant. They're able to fade away from the defender. Even when the defender plays good defense, they're able to fade away. And what I mean by a fadeaway is if Amari is guarding me, right, let's say if I hit him with a left or right crossover. So I'm going, boom, I hit him with a left or right cross. He's following me. Right now, maybe in this moment, I don't have a shot. I'm not able to make it. But if my body goes back, I'm able to knock down that shot. So that's what I mean by fadeaway. A drift could simply mean if I'm going left to right crossover, and as I cross in this direction, I'm now going lateral for space. So now I'm kind of drifting away from that defender and not fading away. So being an elite, an elite scoring guard, got to be able to fade, got to be able to drift. So right now I'm going to go into a, just a two dribble pull up and I'm going to fade back every single time. Those are all fadeaways. Now my drift, what I want to do, every time Amari's going to pass me the ball, I'm going to be right at the nail. So at every court, there should be a nail. My right foot's going to be on this. If I jump straight up and straight down, I should land on the nail. But when I drift, now I want to jump in this direction here. So as I'm jumping, I'm drifting away, and I'll get a make. So I'll get two to three going left, and I'll also get two to three going right. Start right from the nail. Just be able to drift away. Knock it down. Tough part is right here. I'm moving, but that target's not moving. I'm getting away from it. Same, I'll get a couple makes. Really tough going right. And make sure your body slightly turns right into it. I'm gonna have Amari guard me. I'll go two reps going left, two reps going right. He doesn't know which way I'm going. He's gonna try to block my shot every time. I gotta try to find a way either to drift or fade into that shot. What's up, baby? D up, D up. No, come out here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, come on. Hey, get in there. Good D. Good D. Oh, good D. Come on. 
Hey. Uh-huh. Got him. Go, oh, good day. Come on, I just need two more. Hey. Oh. Here we go. That's good D. I felt that too. One more. One more, because I can't pump fake. My instinct kicks in. Oh, you better block that shit. Good D. There we go. Be an elite scoring guard. Gotta be able to drift, gotta be able to fade away from that defender. Saw Amari playing some D on me, a little bit of defense. Big, basic thing is right here is being able to fade, being able to drift. Getting that separation, not only when I stop, but also in the air, drifting away or being able to fade away. In today's basketball, you see college, college line just got scooted back two years ago, and now the NBA line. Nobody's really shooting from the NBA line with the guards. You see everybody shooting at least a step or two, Steph Curry, or three or four, so you gotta have range. The biggest thing with range, if I can shoot the ball consistently, three or four steps behind the line, high school line, or one step behind the NBA line, now help side is gonna be so much further away. Now help side, instead of taking that one defensive slide or two defensive slides, they have to take three. And if you're an ISO guard, that's something you love and thrive for. So if, I'm, if I can shoot with range and I got Amari over there at the wing, and he can shoot with range, we should be unstoppable. That's why you see the, the trailblazers, when CJ McCullum was there, ISO guards, they just ate every single day. Klay Thompson, Steph Curry, that's a big reason why they're one of the best of the best in the entire world. Having range, let's get it. Oh yeah. Damn. One more. Good. Shot. I'm gonna see if I can hit one from half. Oh. Damn. Being able to have that range, you guys saw half court's a little ridiculous, but as long as you have a process of working to shoot to half or working to shoot from high school and then a uh, three-point line from the NBA line and then half court, that all can make sense. So being able to have range, you want to become that game time, ISO score, elite guard score. Let's get it. The fifth attribute right here to become an elite scorer is being able to finish in the paint. So you got to have big man footwork. You got to have guard soft touch. A lot of the guards, once they get about six to eight feet, it's not going to be a fadeaway. It's not going to be a jump shot. It's usually some type of floater getting into a uh, getting it off the backboard, off that specific spot, or just those Steph Curry teardrops. What I'm gonna take Amari through right now, real basic, he'll be at the free throw line. As I drop the ball, he's gonna go left, right. So I'll drop the ball, Amari's gonna run up, he's gonna stop left, right. Once he stops left, right, he's gonna shot fake and everything's gonna be stepped through. He's gonna reach and then finish left. So we're gonna get two going one way, we're gonna go two going the opposite. Right into it. One, two. Up, uh, another one. Step, uh-huh. Let's get one more. Instead of you pivoting that foot or drop pivot when you're going like this to go, just left, right. Go ahead and quick step through. Ready? Two more, go. One, two, step. There you go, one more. Good, left, right. One, two, step. Perfect, same thing, opposite side. Right, left now, right, left. Step. Good, another. Right, left. Yep. A and one, good finish. 
That step through footwork, really important. You're driving hard, that defender bites. Once he bites, you gotta be able to get low, get the ball away, and step through and be able to have that soft touch at the glass. So now our next option right here, now I'm gonna throw the ball outside. So now Amari's going here. As he steps, now I want him to reverse pivot, meaning this top foot, his left foot's gonna go back, and he's gonna step and finish right in the, in, in the front of the rim. Give me two to three reps on this side, same thing opposite. Ready, get there, right, left. Good step to the rim, easy, beautiful. Same thing, right, left. One, two, pivot, like it, give me one more, eh? perfect. Finish on the opposite side for me, last one, get all the way there. Opposite side, step, English. Oh yeah, give me one, I like that, come on. Get there, come on Ja. Little Ja Morant drill right here, step. I like it, good, same thing. I'm gonna have Amari give me two, finish in the center of the rim, that third, you're gonna have to use a little bit of that English, little circle finish, you good? Let's get it. One, two, reverse pivot. Good finish, get in there, you good? Here it is, one, two, reverse pivot, step. Beautiful, another one, same way, sell it, eh? My man getting a workout right now, yes sir. I like it, one more, hey, finish on it. One, two, yep, step, get in there, take. This last part of finishing right now, have my guy Amari have his spin, so he's gonna spin right here. I'm gonna pass the ball to his right hand, he's gonna get into a dribble drop. Once he gets into his dribble drop, it's gonna be two dribbles, one, and then he's coming to this drop stance right here, and then now as he spins, he'll have his pickup. I want him to show like he's gonna finish at the top of the rim, challenging the big man. He's gonna go into a circle finish, finish the opposite way. That left hand, let me see it, come on. Drop, spin. Yep, show. Nice. Good, eh? Yep, spin. Show. Good, one more. So what I want you to do on this last one, I want you, when you spin, I want your momentum going like to the rim. So you're like this. I wanna see you jump to the rim and like you're falling forward into space. All right, last one right here. High and far. Yep, get up. Get away, beautiful. You got a couple more opposite? Woo. Two more, you got two more for me. My man's getting tired right here. Pop, drop, spin, uh-huh, get up, show. That was tough, that was tough, I like that. Come on, last one, eh? Drop hard, spin, get up. There it is, there it is, you see. My man Amari's tired, he's not gonna come back in the screen, that's how tired he is right now. That's a huge factor as well. It's not, it didn't quite make the top five, but you guys have to be in shape. At the end of the day, if you want to be a complete basketball player, you want to play at those high levels, varsity, college, pro level, you got to be in shape. Playing one-on-one, -on -one, playing one game is not going to do anything for you. You got to be able to win game back after back after back after back. That's what's going to create that true basketball in shape. A couple of these drills right here, that finishing drill, when you start missing, comes a whole new ball game. You start missing short, your English is off, start to get a little dizzy, whatever it may be, that's why you gotta lock in. So to be an elite scorer, gotta have those fades. You gotta learn to fade away from that defender. You gotta be able to break your defender down. Gotta have a quick pickup. Get into your shot just as quick as possible. When you get to the rim, gotta have that soft, soft touch. Whoever your favorite elite guards are, they're able to have just that soft touch right at the basket every single time. So those five points right there is what it's gonna take to become an elite scorer. If you liked today's video, make sure y'all like, make sure you guys subscribe, hit that bell notification if you hadn't, because we got uploads coming every single week for you guys. Coach Marcus Hodges with ILB Elite Training. You already know, man, let's get it. If you enjoyed today's video, let me know in the comments below. Give this video a like so YouTube knows you're getting after it. And if you haven't yet, click the subscribe button and the bell notification so you can check out our next videos. See you guys on the next one.